And we're going to bring up our next performer. This guy has worked very, very hard and really literally has some of the best energy of any student I've ever had. Big hand for Jared. Peppies, too bad. I have a microphone, you don't. Uh, I'm wired right now. I had an energy drink, so I'm on a power trip. I'm the character guys like my comedy. I just want to be the center of attention for another four minutes. Uh, but pet peeves, my biggest pet peeve is stupid people. Anyone else hate stupid people out there? Yeah. Like, they're the worst. Like, life is too short to surround yourself with ignorance. You gotta have intelligent conversation every once in a while. I'll give you an example. My best friend Tommy, smartest guy I know, he approached me one day, he's like, Jared, dude, dude! Do you have curly hair on the top of your head? Does that mean you have straight cubes, bro? <laughs> yeah, Tommy's an idiot, uh, but he's, he's a drug dealer, so he has enough problems. So, uh, so be nice. Uh, I, I was a substitute teacher for six months, which means I am pro-choice. Yeah! Give it up for killing babies! No, I'm not just kidding. Uh, but yeah, I was a substitute teacher for six months, and one day I had eighth grade. Eighth grade is the worst age group. Absolute worst. And I had this one girl who was a complete monster. Her name was Heaven. <laughs> Heaven. Yeah. <laughs> Rule of thumb, I don't know if there are any parents out there, but uh, if you're trying, you can't name your child Heaven if she's a fucking monster, okay? <laughs> like, you cannot be ironic with a child's name. There are no Adolf Epsteins for a reason. <laughs> shit the entire class. Just would not shut up. And she thought, oh, I got the last lap. Uh -huh. I'll give this son a hard time. No, I got the last lap. Because I know when she hits high school, she's going to be that filthy whore in class. And these guys would have conversations like this about her. Uh, hey, fellows, uh, I had a great weekend. Uh, I got in to heaven last night. <laughs> that's, that's great, Billy. I, I didn't realize you were religious. No, no, no. Heaven Carter, that filthy slut in geometry? Oh, okay. That makes more sense. Because, uh, you're not a good person, you're probably going to hell. Uh, I had a small slice of heaven the other day. Who knew it tastes like fish? Oh. Oh, disgusting. I'm sorry, that, that's gross. Uh, uh, <laughs> um, my, I have a little brother uh, who's ashamed of his own race. Uh, he, he thinks he's Asian, guys. Uh, which I think is weird. Is that weird? I, I, I think it's weird. Uh, like, it all started, he stayed abroad in Japan, uh, like, last semester in college, which is cool. Like, I wish I did that during college. Uh, but, like, he's just completely changed. Like, all his friends now are Asian. I came home from the city once, and, like, the entire, all of his friends there are Asian. I thought, am I, am I in the right house? This looks like a, a staff meeting for Panda Express. <laughs> I did my best to be respectful because that's how my mama raised me, okay? Mama didn't raise no foo, okay? Raise a root. Miss <laughs> Bali. Uh, but yeah, I did my best to be respectful. So I took off my shoes and I gave everyone a bow. Which apparently, coming from a kid that looks like me, is pretty offensive to Asian people. But the problem was, I gave one kid eye contact when I did it. And like he just got out of his seat, he was super upset. He's like, why are you bowing at me? I'm from Seattle, you racist fuck. And I'm like, listen, Jackie Chan, no one yells at me in my own house. I hope you know karate, because I'm gonna mess you up. And my little brother is in the corner devastated. He's like, Jerry, what are you doing? You're embarrassing me. And I'm like, little brother, don't you see what they're trying to do? They're trying to take you away from me. There's already a billion Chinese alone. These selfish bastards can't have you too. And this guy gets up, he's like, I'm Korean, asshole, but here's your fortune cookie. And he just starts beating the shit out of me. Like, I am trying. Do you even have them open at the moment? Uh, that's, like, that's like 12 Asian stereotypes in like 30 seconds. Uh, is everyone counting? I think that's impressive. Uh, anyone else? No? Shit. Uh, uh, so here's my last joke, guys. Uh, Jersey Shore is now a musical. I repeat, Jersey Shore is now a musical. It's totally, that's totally ridiculous, okay? Because like, that's the greatest show on the planet. Why, why is that a musical? 
If you go see that musical, you'll contribute to the end of the world. Truly, the Mayan calendar will come true, and this is why. Okay, if that musical makes enough money, they'll have more seasons at Jersey Shore. If they have more seasons, Snooki will keep getting pregnant. If she keeps getting pregnant, she will keep getting drunk. If she keeps getting drunk, she'll have more retarded children. Okay? And then the retarded children will overpopulate the earth, spray the chemicals and spray tan and make everyone else stupid. <laughs> So the Walking Dead, except that instead of being kick-ass, everyone just had douchey muscles and tattoos. But Jared, you have muscles and tattoos. <laughs> Fuck you, okay? I'm not douchey, okay? Yeah. But anyway, I think God will come in, and God is Danny Glover in my story. He'd be like, I can't take this shit anymore, okay? I'm getting too old for this shit, but if he strikes everyone dead, everyone dead, except for Leonardo DiCaprio and J.K. Rowling. I can talk about that. What is he talking about? Why those two? Just listen, I don't have time to hold your hand through this joke. I'm on a roll here. Those two men actually procreate after about a thousand years without talented actors and screenwriters again, so that reality TV will die and quality programming will live once more. Can I get a hallelujah? Yeah.